All right. Well, our last topic here is um, related to describing your goals and your rationale and your values. And so we've you know, reiterated this multiple times throughout today, uh, the importance of being able to speak clearly and concisely when communicating about your goals and why they're important and why they're valuable to you and others in your environment. And it's important because in order to get allies in the fight towards reaching our goals and um, you know, living our fully valued life, we have to be able to communicate with people. We have to be able to share that experience, share this experience of being human so we can all come together. We, you know, we live in a society that has for a long time um, harped on this idea of independence and you, you know you must be this person and you must pull yourself up for, for, by your bootstraps and you can't count on anybody else and it's every man woman and child for themselves and the reality is that that is so against our human nature and the reality of the situation no we are interdependent we, we rely on each other to get our needs met. When I am strong and you are weak, I can help build you up and lift you up. Because I, by doing that, I know that when I am weak and you are strong, you will be there to build me up and lift me up. We all have times in our life and situations in our life when we are more able or less able to meet our own needs. Therefore, it's essential that we have a um, you know, we've surrounded ourselves with people with whom we can have these open and honest conversations, with whom we can share this human experience, and um, you know, lift each other up when and when and if needed. Not if needed. We always need help, but when it's needed. And so, being able to communicate clearly in a way that you will you will maximize your potential of being understood, um, because when you don't clearly communicate that leads to the risk of being uh, uh, misunderstood, get, not getting your point across, and sometimes you can actually end up worse off than you were, um, you were before you did anything. So one really helpful strategy that I found is to actually write out a script in preparation for a conversation um, because that helps me get all of my thoughts that are you know going on in my head get them down on paper in a clear and concise form here's what i'm trying to say here's my supporting you know here are my supporting evidence pieces related to why i feel that way and you know here's my conclusion and by preparing that by writing those things out by writing the script i can prepare more um, thoroughly for a conversation and i can speak more clearly in the moment when i need to and so the exercise asks us to imagine that we are going to be meeting with somebody who we really trust and we really value their opinion and somebody who we want to share what it is that we're doing with so we can um, so we can get their support or at least get some get their understanding so they know what we're working on where we're coming from and how and how all of that is going and so for me, my, um, so part one is just related to my first goal. So in preparation for my upcoming meeting, talking about my goal of standing up for myself and others, here, is, here are some points that I would, that I wanted to hit on um, and, that I, and that I incorporated into my script. Standing up for people and standing up for myself and others is a way in which I can actively create a more peaceful environment. And creating a peaceful environment for myself is really important um, because there are times in my life when I have not been able, that I've had this deep sense of pain and suffering, but there have been time, there have been things that I couldn't fix. I couldn't fix what was broken. And that really impacted me. That really had left a long lasting impact 
on how I felt about myself and how powerful I felt. Um, when I'm not able to solve problems effectively and efficiently, I, it really starts to weigh on me and I get really mad and I get really sad because I want people to be, I want people to be peaceful. I want people to be able to live up to their fullest potential. I have a history of freezing up and when I should be speaking up. I have a history of when I see something and I want to say something and I try to put myself out there, I get stuck in my throat and I want to cry. And, I, and because I notice that pattern in myself, I really want to work on this goal of more effectively and more efficiently advocating for myself and others. And this is why I'm committed to advocating and speaking up for myself and speaking up for others in a caring and compassionate way um, and taking the, um, making the effort to act when needed. The second goal that I have is about making meaningful contact with joy in my life. And I the reason this is important is because I have a history of denying myself access to preferred activities because I've made excuse after excuse about why I cannot be bothered to do things that are fun and enjoyable because I have you know, very more, much more important things to do. I have, over, the, over my years and through the development of myself and my career, I have put, in, I have put myself in a position where there's an enormous amount of responsibility on my shoulders which has led to me thinking that if I, do, if I don't do this, everything will fall apart. If I'm not here, everything will fall, fall apart. But the reality is, is that I'm not that special. If, if I am not in a situation, things will be okay. The world will still revolve, the, it, and it will still rotate on a predictable schedule. Um, but but I have, you know, I've had this sense of this strong sense of responsibility that has made me very tired and made me disjointed from those things which bring me the most joy and verb to my life. And so I have, um, I have decided that I'm tired. I'm tired of committing every moment to the betterment of other people. I still want to do that work and I'm still passionate about it, positively impacting the lives of others. But I know that for me to be able to maintain that level of energy, I need to ensure that I'm, I'm finding, finding joy in my own life outside of my um, conceptualized sense of self as a behavior analyst. And so I'm committed to doing things that bring me more joy, such as playing the piano more, and attending community functions and social functions and reaching out to distant friends um, when needed. And the last thing I would like to share with you, trusted person, um, is about this my goal of setting realistic boundaries. I have, throughout my years, spent a lot of time in every waking mo moment with important activities related to my career. And this has led to me being very busy and you know, having to wake up early and stay up late and burn the candle at both ends and not having adequate time for my family and friends and um, creating a um, balanced life that I really want to. So this is why I'm really, I am committed to making some changes in my life to regain a sense of balance. Um, and I, the way, what I will do is whenever an opportunity is brought to me, to um, do something outside of my current responsibilities, I will honestly evaluate whether or not it's going to create some sort of conflict and um, consider the other important things that I have on my, in my life and my timeline before committing. And if I am unable to commit, I will clearly communicate that to the, to the other person so they understand the reason why I'm unable to, to take on that thing at this point. Okay, so those were, my, those were my scripts for how I would talk to somebody or how I would communicate 
my, um, you know, my rationale and my goals and the values, the values that I hold, why these things are important to me. So I could speak them more, more clearly. And so is there anybody who would like to share their rationale or share how they might, how they might talk to somebody important about their goals? Well, I really look forward to, I, I enjoy greatly um, looking back at the responses to the exercises. And um, this past week when I went through and reviewed the responses, I replied with a comment um, and uh, to your exercises. And so hopefully those came through and you were able to see them. I did also want to let you all know that I figured out how you are able to see your responses um, within your dashboard and there, there's actually a, um, a request, you can, actually, you can request your data um, that's held within the system. And so if you are interested or wanting um, to see your answers, you can use that to submit a request. You go to your dashboard and click on account. Um, and then there is a button to request your data. And then once that, once that um, request is submitted and um, accepted by, the by us as the administrators, you'll get an email that has a link to the, that information. Um, so that is a much easier way um, to get access to that, that historical information. Um, all right, so in the last couple of minutes, I just want to talk about the homework for this week. Um, the chapters for lesson four, again, these are optional if you're, if you're following along in the book, but the uh, chapters for lesson four are chapter 11 in A Liberated Mind, chapters five through six in um, Flip the Script, and then chapter seven from Get Out of Your Mind and Into Your Life. Um, the second piece of homework is to continue your daily you no know, technology time routine if you are doing that. Um, and that, and the third, the third homework activity is to write what are called emotional motivantras. Um, and this is a, this is something from the flip, to flip the script book, uh, that I really like that because um, I like catchphrases and acronyms and um, things like that, things that'll, you know, little mnemonic devices that will help me remember things. And, um, and when you think about relational frames, these, these can be one of those nodes in the relational frame where you have this quick, um, you know, quick, easy, short, catchy phrase um, that you can say to yourself or you can put on a poster, put it up on your wall that, you know, when you see that, think that, hear that, say that, um, you know, connects to the other components of that relational frame um, to uh, facilitate the likelihood of, of you remaining in alignment with those values. So this exercise asks you to come up, you know, identify your top three value areas and then create fun motive entrees for your, related to those. So for instance, if your value area is gratitude, um, your motive entre might be but to find the gift. So um, that's something that you might you know, put, up on, put up on a sticky note, put up on your bulletin board um, to remind yourself in the moment when you're feeling stressed out or feeling, you know, feeling down about something is to find the gift in that, um, in that moment. Um, the last exercise that you can complete as part of your homework is based on uh, based on the exercise out of the get out of your mind and into your life book and it is a pain diary and so what this uh the rationale for this is that you know we tend to get in these habitual patterns of thought related to you know our problems our pain and um kind of over 
exacerbating the or overstating the impact or the frequency of that. Um, so you know, it's like I this I I'm I suffer from this all the time. We can have this kind of this all or nothing thought or feeling about it. And so by by taking the steps to collect the data over a, you know over a period of time over a week um and documenting the times of the day during which you are feeling pain experiencing pain or having thoughts about pain and suffering um it this, doing this pain diary exercise can help you put data behind those statements that you're making regarding the frequency and the intensity and the impact that they're having on your life. Um, so this is a really good one to get more um, to uh, get practice with that day-to-day -day awareness and then also um, put some more quantitative information uh, behind your thoughts to help you more clearly describe and define what's going on in your life. Uh, does anybody have any questions or questions, comments, or last thoughts that they would like to share before we sign off for the day? All right. Well, thank you all so much. I really appreciate you um, showing up today, and we will um, we're, we will have the videos up shortly. We're working on a um, a tighter timeline to get them up there um, more readily um, as we are working out the um, you know working out the process on the back end of getting every all the videos edited. So. Um, I appreciate your participation. I appreciate you being here, and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Take care.